A severe thunderstorm cloud that formed over the Pacific Ocean in 2018 reached the coldest temperatures ever recorded, according to a new study. The very top of the storm cloud reached a bone-chilling minus 167.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 111 degrees Celsius, colder than any storm cloud measured before. Thunderstorms and tropical cyclones, those circular low-pressure storms, can reach very high altitudes, up to 11 miles from the ground, where the air is much cooler. But this new temperature is on another level. The top of the storm cloud was about 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius colder than typical storm clouds. The storm loomed a couple hundred miles south of Nauru in the southwest Pacific on December 29, 2018. Its cloud's temperature was picked up by an infrared sensor aboard the U.S.'s NOAA-20 satellite orbiting the planet. Storms typically spread out into an anvil-like shape when they reach the top of the troposphere, the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere. But if a storm has a lot of energy, it will shoot into the next layer, the stratosphere. This phenomenon, known as an overshooting top, pushes storm clouds to very high altitudes where it's bitterly cold. Lead author of the new study, Simon Proud, told the BBC that overshooting tops are reasonably common. Typically, an overshooting top cools by about 12.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius for every kilometer it rises in the stratosphere. But this storm was particularly extreme. The storm may have been energized by a combination of very warm water in the region and eastward moving wind, according to the BBC. But it's not clear why these colder temperatures in storm clouds are becoming more common. In the last three years, scientists have logged the same number of extremely cold temperatures in clouds as they did in the 13 years before that. Proud said in a statement that thunderstorms with colder clouds tend to be more extreme and more hazardous to people on the ground due to hail, lightning, and wind. The findings were published March 22nd in the journal Geophysical Research Letters.